Check out this giant dresser. It's very large. I like the giant socks. Hello friends! Welcome back to the vlog. This is vlog number two. So it's Richard and I are about to go outside. We're going to build a trellis for the back garden. And what we're using is bamboo sticks and then just some strings. So we're just going to uh, put the sticks into the ground and then uh, wrap the string up and around it. And then later we're going to go get um, some soil, some topsoil so we can cap off the beds and then start planting them. And yesterday we started the seedlings and I will show you that now. Finishing up the beds, we're adding uh, one bag of two cubic feet of soil to the top of them just because we're not sure if we have quite enough soil on them. So we got two different kinds, this kind which has, uh, let's see, poultry manure, worm castings, kelp meal, uh, some peat moss and sand and limestone. And then we're adding this kind as well so we can kind of test them and compare both organic, and this one has a mix of forest products, hummus, moss, poultry manure. So yeah, we're going to test and see which one works better, and we're just covering the buds, and then we're going to put some seeds in them and get growing.
dragon's tongue beans, burpee string beans, green cabbage, uh, some radishes my friend Annette got me when she was in Germany, and then some daikon radish. So that's the back bed right there with the trellis that Richard's working on. In this second bed, I planted cosmic purple carrots, Detroit dark reed beets, spinach, red deer tongue lettuce, and uh, blue island upland crust. In this bed, I planted Swiss chard, butter crunch lettuce. Grandpa's and Meyer's lettuce, romaine lettuce, a lettuce mixture, and a second lettuce mixture. In the fourth bed, I just broadcasted some dandelion more radish and clover seeds, kind of just as a cover crop until we move more seeds into that bed. So we'll see if anything pops up there. And that's it for the planting of the seeds. on building our compost bin for our humanure toilet. So we're just basically going to screw the three pallets together and then we'll eventually get a piece of plywood for the front to kind of brace everything in there. And we won't need that quite yet, but yeah, let's make this project happen.